gentlemen and welcome to another ServiceNow Video Express blog post on the concept of approvals in ServiceNow Express. So we're going to begin today's demonstration looking at a high level at some of the new features released in our Fuji release. If we come in to make a new change request in ServiceNow, say a normal change, what we're going to see is we can now do tiered approvals in the system. So I'm just going to put a description in of sample tiered approval. As myself the system administrator, maybe I want to assign this to a specific user. Let's assign this to Fred. And I'm simply going to go ahead and request approval. So for approvals in ServiceNow, we can add these not only to catalog requests, but also chain requests. And it allows us to interface with any number of dynamic users. In this case, Fred is my manager, and he's currently being requested to do this approval. After Fred approves, we're going to see that the approval request will update along the flow. And if I refresh this list, now the second step in the line, our change approval board of Alejandro, Aileen, Rob, and the ITIL user will then be requested. So these users, they can interface with these change requests or approval catalog approvals from a number of different areas. To begin, they can come into the My Approval section of the Service Desk application to see any approvals that are currently requested of them. At the same time, they can use our mobile app to very easily open up the ServiceNow instance and log in to see any items that they're requested for approval. So our ITIL user here can easily click in and see all those records where the ITIL user is required for approval. Lastly, we have email notifications. So my ITIL user, we can see they've received the email regarding a change request approval request where I can click to approve or click to reject without even having to dive into the platform. So we can see an example here of a user approving from email. We can also see these approvals coming into play with catalog item requests. So if Joe employee comes into the platform here and wants to order a new laptop, he can come in, click through those items and very rapidly find exactly what he wants to order and based off of pricing information, order information, user information, we can have approvals dynamically routed as well. In this case, before Joe Employee receives his Dell laptop, we'll see his manager, the ITIL user, is going to need to do an approval. So the question is then, how do we set these approvals up in ServiceNow? So there's two key items that come into play with the approvals. First, the approval rules, and second, the email notifications regarding these approvals. So let's start by coming in as a system administrator and taking a look at the approval rules in the system. So if I search in my application and I take a look at approvals, you'll see under the business logic module we have an approval rules section. Now under these approval rules, not only do I have those standard catalog requests that you saw execute, but I also have a number of standard out-of-box change requests. And we're going to talk about the different types, variables accessible to us, and how to do tiered approvals in just a moment. So let's start with that catalog request approval. What you may notice is that catalog items have pricing information tied to them. This allows us to define in our two-step process for when to apply this approval rule and what approval data to generate exactly where we want it. So in our case, if the catalog request comes through where the price is less than $1,000 or it's empty, we're simply going to go ahead and automatically generate that approval data. Maybe we want to do an auto-approve. At the same time, we can have a rule with the converse is true. So if the price is above $1,000, we can see the same filter condition when price is greater than $1,000. We're going to go ahead and generate the approval data for my procurement group and the requester, so in my case, Joe Employee's manager, who is the IT user, or dynamically any user who requested this item, their manager. So really easy to set up approval rules in service now two steps when to apply this rule and you pick the table change request or request and in what the generated approval data is going to be or which users need to be approving. An item to note on this is you can now dictate also what the kind of approvers are needed. Is it all of the users from a given group or list or is it just any of them? So if my change approval board had four users, if I selected all of all four of those users need to apply for the approval to take place. However, if I selected any of, any time one out of the four of those members approves, the approval will go through as being complete. 
Let's talk about tiered approvals as well. So in my change example, we saw that first Fred, my manager, had to approve. We'll see a normal manager approval here. And after that, we had the approval for our normal change change approval board, which consists of those four members. So our first example, which was our manager, again, a simple selection of when this applies, our change request, anytime the type is normal, and the data to take. I need my requested by the user who requested this change, the manager to approve. So for the second tier, what you're going to see you have to do is we just click into this request here. You are going to select run after. So here I'm running this approval after my normal manager approval. And then I'm going ahead and I'm taking my change approvals group. An important thing to note here is when you have a secondary tiered approval or second stage approval, in Fuji in the current release make sure to leave your conditions empty so that it always takes over and goes and rolls into the second dairy stage of approval in the same regard let's talk now about the email notifications that go out so your email notifications your approval rules keep in mind that they all have order numbers correlated to them and they're gonna execute lowest order hitting first so I'm going to come into my email notification section here and simply search for my approval emails. Something you'll note is out of box, the change approvals and catalog item approvals use what we call an email template that already has the values and layout formatted. Well, let's take a look at one of these approval requests specifically for the change approval. So I'm going to drill down into that, and we're seeing it's running on the approval table anytime, and it's going to send it to the approver of this approver record. What it's going to contain is this email template for the change ITIL approval role. So if you want to edit that automatic email notification, you can simply come into that change template. You'll see short description, priority, category, and then all the items of the mail for the approval and the rejection. So if you want to format it, you can simply come in, add additional information. If you want to take that from the fields on that approval form, and then just send it to the user. So very simple in order to get that information from email in the specified layout you'd like to your end user. Now this brings up a very important fact, is, which is that yes, out of box, ServiceNow Express allows you to do these approvals on change requests or on catalog items. But keep in mind, you can still do change requests on really any table in ServiceNow. So let's take incident for an example. So if I have an open incident, Let's take a look at this open incident record. What you'll notice is one of the fields we have available to us to use is an approval field. So if I come into my form designer and I search in my fields for the approval, I can just click and drag that right onto my form. And now I have an approval field on this form for incident. So all you have to do then is combine this with email notifications and inbound email actions for the same logical concept. So we could do a new notification under our email notifications and we're going to call this our approval notification for example. We can say incident approval and this runs at any time an incident is created maybe we'll say inserted and any time the priority is high, priority is 1. So we're going to come in and we'll set that anytime a new instance created where the priority is one critical and we're gonna pick to receive it maybe the manager of our a caller just to make sure that they're eligible to put in a critical incident so we'll say the caller's manager so they're notified and I'll just click that over and press the lock what it will contain we could add priority one approval emails the subject Again, you could use these fields to take any of those fields from this form, such as short description, work start, the state, and so on. And we'll just quickly do an example saying, please reply approve to approve or reject to reject. So now we have an automatic approval email going out for incident per our logic. The only final thing we need to do is then have the system be able to take in and understand approve or reject in terms of the context to the incident approval. 
I'm going to go to an inbound action now for email. And what you'll see is when I create this inbound email action, I can press new here. And we're just going to say our incident approval. What I'm going to do is on my target table is going to be incident. My action type is going to be a record action. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take in from a new email. I'm going to take the filter condition so that the email subject or body, and let me do this search here, so that the body of this email has to contain approve. The actions I'm then going to take is I'm going to set the approval field on that form to approved. So you could do the same inbound email action for reject, and it's that same concept and process on any table in ServiceNow to add a, a logical approval flow. Now keep in mind, you can combine this functionality with very simple UI policies or business rules so that if an inbound incident requires approval, you can make it so that all the fields become read-only and they only have write access granted to them after the approval state moves over to approved. So a lot of functionality available to you for setting up these approvals in ServiceNow using platform functionality or the out-of-box catalog and change approvals, which are accessible from platform, email, or the mobile UI.